Hey AP Chemistry, so I got a request from Kylie to look at questions 97 and 98. There was a bit of a concern as to how to do these type of problems. Uh, there's an example just like this on page 749 of your textbook, but I'm going to carry us through it anyways. I'm only going to do 97, and if you could do 97, you could probably figure out 98 then. But let's look at this question. It says, determine the OH concentration, remember brackets mean concentration, and pH of a solution that is 0.14 molar in F minus. Now there's a couple of things that you need to know and consider for this problem. F minus is the conjugate base of HF. And how do I know that? Well, if I have minus, if I want to make it the conjugate, if I want to make the acid of it, I add H. I have HF. And HF is a weak acid. And so off the bat now, if I have a weak acid or even a weak base, I'm going to have to use ice table somewhere to figure out my concentrations. So in your textbook on page 731, they give us the Ka of HF, and it's 6.8 times 10 to the minus fourth. And on page 752, which is part of six, uh, chapter 16 outline, 16.8 16 that you have to uh, outline and read, there's this expression that says Ka times Kb is equal to Kw, and Kw is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th. Well, Ka is the acid dissociation constant, Kb is the base dissociation constant, and they are related because the product of the two of them is equal to this Kw, which is the auto-ionization constant of water. Therefore, if I want to solve for Kb, and I will need to do Kb, if I want to solve for the Kb of this, Kw over Ka is equal to Kb. So in me doing that, I did 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 6.8 times 10 to the minus 4th, and I got 1.47 times 10 to the minus 11th. For a base like this, I'm going to need the Kb. If I have a base, I can't use the acid dissociation constant to do my equilibrium business. So just as a heads up, one of my first steps is to solve for the Kb. Now we're going to do an ice table. Now before I do the ice table, I have to figure out the equation. So the equation is F minus aqueous, and if I put F minus into solution, and it's 0.15 molar, what is that solution in? It's in water. So F minus plus H2O liquid, and it's in equilibrium because it's a weak base. Oh, this is a very weak base. If I, if I react in a base with water, this acts as a base. Water will act as an acid. And so that base is going to remove a proton from water. And I will get OH minus plus HF. Aqueous, aqueous. Okay? And so now if I go and do my ice table, I want to find my equilibrium concentration of OH minus. So I'm going to set up my ice table now. I, C, E. And we've done the ice table so many different times, but now we have to kind of conceptualize it a bit more with acids and bases. So probably what was tough about this was maybe writing the dissociation equation. All right, so now my initial concentration of F minus was 0.14 molar. That was given to me. And then my water, that's constant. Just as a fun fact, it's 55.5 molar. So that's going to stay constant. That's not changing. And initially, I have no OH minus and no HF, which is the conjugate acid. So this is the base. This is the conjugate base, which ends up being hydroxide. And this is the conjugate acid for this reaction or dissociation. So now if I go and do my ice table, if this dissociates, or if my, I'm going from left to right, I have minus x is my change, plus x, plus x. And so I'll have 0 0.140, and this is just like we've, we've done this so many times, you know what to do. Like, you could probably answer this now with your eyes closed. All right, so 0.15 molar minus x, x, x. And now I set up my expression for equilibrium which is gonna be my KB expression. So my equilibrium is products over reactants.
That's going to be my KB. OH minus HF over F minus. This is the KB expression. And this has a number already. We solved it, or I made you get it before. It is 1.47 times 10 to the minus 11th. That is freaking small. So you know we're going to do some uh, approximations here. All right, so now if I solve what am I trying to solve for? I'm trying to solve for eventually my OH concentration. That's what it acts for up here. What's my OH concentration? So I'm going to plug in these values for x. x, x over 0 0.140 minus x equals 1.47 times 10 to the minus 11. You know well that this x, I could assume it to equal approximately 0 because this k is so freaking small. So now if I want to solve for this, x times x is x squared. And I have to multiply 0.14 times 1.47. So multiply. I'm going to do it over here on the calculator. I'll get x squared equals 0 0.140 times 1.47 times 10 raised to the minus 11th. Oops. And I get 2.058 times 10 to the minus 12th. If I want to solve for x, square root of both sides, x equals second square root, x equals 1.43 times 10 to the minus 6th molar. Okay, now what does this number mean? This number x is my concentration for OH minus, so boom, we answered half the problem. It's also my concentration of HF, but we don't really need that for this problem. So I have my concentration of OH minus, that is equal to 1.43 times 10 to the minus 6 molar. Now, maybe you know now how to do pH and pOH, but I'm going to go to a separate page, all right? And remember our number here. I'm going to write it at the top. My concentration of OH minus that we solved for, that's equal to 1.43 times 10 to the minus 6th molar. I'm going to write that at the top of the page now. We need to know a couple of things about pH and pOH. pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of H plus. pOH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of OH minus. And pH plus pOH is equal to 14. And these are given to you on the AP exam, and it's helpful to understand how to use them. So if I have my concentration of OH minus, which of these equations can I use to solve for eventually pH? Well, I can't do pH right away because I have my concentration of OH minus. I'm going to plug this concentration into this equation. My pOH is going to equal to the negative log of this concentration of OH minus. So if I do the negative log of this concentration of OH minus, I'm going to get pOH. So negative log of 1.43 times 10 raised to the minus 6. Oops. I get 5.84. I'm just using three sig figs. So my pOH is equal to 5.84. However, that is not what the question's asking. The question is asking for pH. So I'm going to need this gorgeous equation. pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Well, I know my pH is 5.84. So if pH plus 5.84 is equal to 14. How can I solve for pH here? Subtract 5.84 from both sides. pH equals 14 minus 5.84. I get 8.16. That is my pH. Another way you could solve for this is knowing that um, Concentration of H plus times the concentration of OH minus should equal 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th.
but you get the same answer, right? This is like, um, this is my KW expression, right? So if I take my concentration of acid and I multiply times my concentration of base, I should get 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th. That's the same thing as saying pH plus pOH is equal to 14. It's just so much easier to use this pH and pOH business, okay? Now I want you all to try question number 98 on your own. You will get a question that's similar to this on your entrance task for buffers and uh, acids and bases. Remember how to use ice tables. That's why we started this unit with equilibrium. You should know how to do stuff like this in your sleep. The only new information that was probably tough here was trying to probably set up the equation and getting KB. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns about this, let me know in the Remind, or you could always ask me questions during class.